What's going on, everybody? Here, yeah, it's my boy King Gabe and everything. And uh, got a um, yeah, this is not this is a kind of an unexpected video here. Um, that I was not expecting to have to make, but it has something has to be said. Um, a positive note before I go into it. Um, uh, if you hadn't seen my review of Rise of the Beast from last night, um, uh, definitely check that out. Really good movie. Um, got details in there. Um, it's definitely spoilers and also another spoiler, uh, I forgot to mention in the video. Um, yeah. Uh, what was it? Um, they don't have that ape link thing in the trailer. Um, you remember the, uh, in some of the trailers, uh, recent trailers before the, before now they showed, uh, I think what people were calling ape link. It looked like Optimus with these, uh, blades, sort of like Root Kaiser from, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh kind of. <laughs> so... Yeah, he's not in there unless, unless I may be, I could be wrong because I feel like, I feel like that trailer scene might, might have, was going to be like a flashback or something like that. So he may have been in like possibly, maybe, um, maybe there was a brief scene of him that we miss coming into the movie theater. Maybe we missed that scene. Maybe it was like right at the beginning uh, before they went to calling on Autobots, so I could be wrong. I highly doubt it, but hey, I could, like I say, it could be possible. Uh, and if that's not the case, it'll probably be in the deleted scene or something. Uh, much like, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, reacting to RC. <laughs> so anyway, good note there. Uh, also good note. Turn this around here. As you can see, I got the Optimus Prime 10. Yep, uh, looks pretty good. Uh, and it even lights up. If I can, uh, let me turn the camera around. Yeah, it'd be a lot. Well, okay, I got it turned around. Uh, so, yep, this is the 10 down here. Uh, it does light up. A uh, little switch under there. I did not even think it was electronic. I thought it was just like a regular popcorn bucket just in the shape of Optimus Prime's head. Oops. I don't want to know. Okay, there we go. You can bear... Yeah, it's hard to see because, you know, I'm in the sunlight and everything. But it does light up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better. Um, I guess probably like in the dark or at nighttime, something like that. Um, and, it open, and that's how it opens up. Somebody was trying to open this up on the side. I don't know who told the person that it opens on the side, but you no, know, it opens at the top. So hopefully you're watching this. Open yours from the top and you will not tear it up. <laughs> uh, as you can see, yeah, when I bought it here at Tinseltown, where I'm at right now, uh, they, yeah, they went on and put some popcorn in it. And like I said, I did not even know it was electronic until we got to see the movie and my wife pointed out like hey that thing lights up you know i think she may have saw like somebody else's light up or something like that but yeah she pointed that out so yeah it's a good collectible good collectible i um you know eating out of optimus's head but what's the problem you ask well it's not washable and that is a major problem. You can't wash it like regular dish, like put it in the dishwasher or anything like that. It's not washable because if you do, if, you know, water will mess up the electronics. And that is something the manufacturers should have thought about before they made this thing. And this is a big problem uh, because, yeah, you you know, the first instinct when someone eats out of something that you tell them is, you know, it's a, like a popcorn bowl or something, they're going to want to wash it so they can use it at their house. I mean, you're not going to throw something like this away. Uh, you're going to want to use it again. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't, that's the thing, you can't really eat out of it. And what really ticks me off about it is the fact that, um, like, we got ready, uh, like, we was going to wash it this morning, but I wanted to make sure it was waterproof, so I called Cinemark. I figured, you know, since they sold the, the since they sold these, they would at least know if it's waterproof or not, and they had no idea. Uh, the time I think they called the manufacturer, and I'm like, wait a minute, you sell these things and you don't even know if they're waterproof? <laughs> yeah, you might want to uh, have, you know, know about that, especially because the thing is, you know, you're talking about, well, call your corporate um, 
like me, if anybody, any customer wants to know about that, they're going to, they're going to more, you know who they're going to call before they call manufacturers. They're going to call you guys first because this is where you bought it from. So, yeah. So I did call the manufacturers. Uh, apparently the lady I was speaking to didn't really take well to constructive criticism. <laughs> so, yeah, I called the manufacturers the uh guy who picked the phone uh now i will admit um now i will give him credit um the guy who picked up the phone at the manufacturer uh cinemark uh corporate um he was he 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 did he wasn't mean or anything he didn't seem like he didn't have an attitude or anything like that he was real he was a real nice guy he was a lot more uh well-mannered than the one i spoke with up here at cinemark um but he had no idea if it was watchable and he was he went around trying to ask people at, you know, up there at the corporate that, which, like I say, he's a nice guy, but I mean, I just, I just, it's, it's really, and I did, I did say this. I was like, you know, you know, you, you guys make something like this. You might, you know, that's something you got to take into consideration. I mean, it's just like, you know, like putting on there, uh, whether it's washable or not stuff like that. Just like, you know, if you buy a vacuum cleaner out of Walmart, uh, it's going to have all the instructions on how to use it. And it's even going to have, uh, don't drive near water. Now, I mean, you would think like, well, I would know not to put a vacuum near water, but <laughs> I'm just, just saying in general, it would probably still tell you that anyway. So yeah, that, yeah, that is something to take consideration. So like I say, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to let you guys know uh, when I come back, I'm not, cause I can't film in there, but I'm going to, I'm going to take this back in, in there. Uh, since I spoke with them on the phone and the corporate. So I'm going to take this back in here and they can, they got the two options <laughs> in a very nice way. They can either give me, they can either take this one back and, you know, give me a clean one and I won't put no food in it. And they keep the money, uh, and I get a brand new Optimus head, you know, just to have as a little collect as a little centerpiece. <laughs> or they could take this back and give and refund me my money at least because it costs twenty four ninety nine. Hey, I will, I I will is I will walk out. I, if y'all can't switch this with a clean head, I will is a I will take twenty five dollars at twenty five dollars and leave in peace. <laughs> So that's two choices. So let's see what, let's see what they choose. A few moments later. So I just got back out of Cinemark. Uh, uh, apparently they were not able to do the switch, uh, which was the first option I said, cause I, you know, was, uh, <laughs> I offered that first as a generous way of, you know, like, okay, hey, you know, uh, they keep the money they make and give me a new collectible thing, but uh, they weren't able to do that. Um, but they did take the second option and refunded it. So it's the receipt there. Um, Cause when they, as a matter of fact, they even refunded for the medium popcorn. Cause that yes, they cause they gave me that. Uh, cause I ordered the ten, the the ten. Uh, originally my wife, uh, Christina, she was with me. She was just going to get herself a small popcorn, but they told me a medium popcorn came with the getting the 10. So she took the medium popcorn. Uh, so, and I had, and I had the collectible 10, but since things didn't work out with the whole, it's not washable thing. Yeah. So got my money back. So looks like that situation has been settled. Um, and just as a bit of a PSA <laughs> uh, to to those of you, you know, uh, about to go to see the movies and stuff, as well as also at the same time to the manufacturers of these different things, you know, these movie buckets and y'all decide to put electronics in them and stuff. Um, when you buy, make sure you make sure you got the, those of you selling things like this electronic popcorn buckets make sure you make them washable <laughs> make them washable because there are electronic items that can be waterproof yeah make them waterproof yes yeah, so make sure they're waterproof because that would be very important if you're eating out of something that's electronic so 
And as for this particular item, since it's not waterproof, uh, if y'all go, if y'all gonna order y'all an Optimus Prime popcorn tin, um, if you're not ordering it online and you're buying it right here at the movie theater you go to, make sure to let the people there know not to fill it up because originally uh, the, the clerk there, she told me that they were not supposed to fill that up. She, uh, they, they literally were not supposed to do that, but whoever did, did it. Yeah. <laughs> but to be, uh, which I, like I said, I didn't know it was electronic back then, but I guess since they were supposed, since it was their responsibility, um, I am assuming that that clerk there was kind of stressed out what was going on. Cause yeah, it was a long line there yesterday. And also there were two ladies in front of me and Christina that seemed like were giving the clerk that tended to us a very hard time about snack size popcorn. So <laughs> yeah, maybe it could have been, you know, stress and they probably, and with so much stress on them, they probably did not think. Uh, so yeah, so that's, so that's why I also tell you guys going in there to get your popcorn and stuff. Make sure you remind them because they might forget. <laughs> Make sure you remind them so you don't end up in this situation and you don't have to worry about trying to run back up here like I just did to <laughs> get them to switch or refund you and all that. That way they can they don't have to put up with refunds and stuff and we can have collectible tins and not have to wonder if they're waterproof or not because now you know they're not waterproof. <laughs> And for future and for future reference for the manufacturers, make if you're gonna make electronic popcorn buckets, make them waterproof. So this has been a PSA message from me. <laughs> Take care, everybody.